Hi guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So today we are going to discuss another programming question in Java that is automorphic number program. So that means we need to find out whether a particular number is automorphic number or not. So let's get started. Let's first understand what is automorphic number. If square of any number ends with the number itself, then that number is called automorphic number. For example, here you can see that our number is 5 and square of 5 is 25 which ends with the number 5 itself. So that number is automorphic number. Another example you can see here is 25. Square of 25 ends with 25 itself. So then 25 is also automorphic number. One more example is 7. Square of 7 is 49 which ends with 9 instead of 7. So that number is not automorphic number. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Let's take the example of 25 itself. Our number is 25. Square of the number is 625. So we can see that square ends with the number itself. So that means this number is an automorphic number. But how we are going to check is first we will find out the last digit of the number and last digit of the square of the number and we will check if both are equal. Then we will move to the next digit of the number and next digit of the square of the number. If, if these are also equal then we can say that this number is an automorphic number right. So that means we need to keep checking all the digit till this number becomes 0. Now how we are going to find out the last digit of the number that means n mod 10 which will give us 5 and square mod 10 which will again give us the last digit that is 5. If both are same then we need to move to the next digit that means we will divide the number by 10 which will give us 2 and also divide the square of the number by 10 which will give us 62 and again we have to find the mod of both the numbers that means last digit and we have to check that if both are equal then we can say that this is an automorphic number. So let's write the solution for it. Let's go back to our IntelliJ and we'll write a function which will check whether a number is automorphic or not. So static boolean boolean means it will return true or false is automorphic int n right it will expect the number and then we have to find out the square of that number which would be n into n and now we have to write our loop our loop should run till that number becomes 0 so that means while n is greater than 0 we have to check the last digits of both the numbers so that means if n mod 10 is not equal to square mod 10 that means last digit of both the numbers are not equal then it should directly return false and if both both are equal then we have to move to the next digit that means we have to divide both the numbers by 10 n is equals to n by 10 and square is also equal to square divide by 10 and if both are equal then we have to return true that means both the numbers are equal that means last digit of square of the number is the number itself let's go back to our main function and call the method that is int n is equals to we can take any number let's first check 25 if is automorphic n that means if it is returning true then we can print the numbers are automorphic right automorphic else we have to print the numbers are not automorphic let's write our print statement not automorphic Let's run the program and see this uh, output. So you can see the output clearly right automorphic because we are checking number 25. Let's check any number which is not automorphic. 
for example 8 8 is also not automorphic because square of 8 is 64 and it ends with 4 instead of 8 so it is not an automorphic number let's run it so output for 8 is not automorphic which is correct I hope you understood the solution. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such programming videos.